Welcome to the Marketing Automation Show. I'm Joey Keller. I make Mautic tutorials on my blog every week, and sometimes I try to tackle issues that are a little bit more complicated to be explained with a couple of screenshots and text. So I started this format now to give you a more detailed explanation of the solutions with screencast and commentary. Uh, this is right now part one, and I plan to make many more in the next weeks. I hope you enjoy it. In today's part, we will connect WooCommerce with Mautic with a simple script so you don't have to pay for Zapier or other no-code tools to transfer your contacts upon purchase. Let's begin. Let's review our plan. So our idea is that we have a WooCommerce store. Let's say we have certain customers here. So every time someone purchases something, a new customer profile is created within WooCommerce. We can do communication with this person by using WooCommerce or maybe another autoresponder. But what we would like to do is we would like to use Modic to do all these things simply because Modic is a lot better in communicating with customers than any other tool. So the logical idea is to create a WooCommerce webhook and call Modic, which is pretty easy to do. It's a built in feature in WooCommerce. So every time an order is created, we could send a webhook to Modic. But Modic doesn't understand the WooCommerce webhook just out of the box. We would need an intermediate step. So we're going to create a PHP script called the standard Modic, uh, the standard WooCommerce webhook with this PHP script that would translate into a useful information for Modic and use a Modic API call to push the information into Modic and create the profile there or eventually update if this person is a return customer. So that's what we're going to do now. Let's build. So I created this um, example website here. It's a demo store to demonstrate how you can catch the WooCommerce webhook and um, save your information in inside Modic regarding the newly posted orders. After that, after posting the order, you can start the automations and all kinds of things. So we're going to I'm going to show you everything uh, how it works. So our first step is to create a webhook and just to test, to really see how uh, WooCommerce is sending the data. In order to do that, we're going to create a request bin uh, account or request bin um, uh, webhook. I think it doesn't require you to register, but in case it, it does, it's for free. So when you click on that previously seen big, big blue blot button, big boo blue button <laughs> you will you will get this endpoint which will be your test endpoint and the cool thing is that whatever comes here will be displayed and for you it will be available for analysis so you can see what WooCommerce is sending so set up this webhook in WooCommerce for every time someone orders something you can go to uh, I think it's in WooCommerce settings and here integration I think actually it's in advanced not in settings but it's in advanced it's correct so you go to advanced and here you click on webhooks now WooCommerce is sending webhooks on different occasions and you can set up which occasion where you want to um, uh, send the webhook to right now we just want to see what happens if someone takes an order and maybe later I make an advanced tutorial where I discuss what happens if you want to do other stuff. So we go to webhooks, we're going to name it order webhook and the status should be enabled, I mean active topic and this is very important. So this webhook will be fired when someone creates an order. So order created, delivery URL will be our pipe gym, so our, our uh, request bin. So let's copy that. And we don't need the secret right now, so you can just save it. So if I make an order, this webhook should be fired up and all the information, which is probably a JSON content, will be fired to uh, send to PipeGen. Okay, so let's make an order. I'm going to buy a blue clay soap. Actually, no, just let's get one of these. I'm just going to add this to cart. I don't know, is it added to cart? Okay, maybe this one great so now we have it in the cart 
like I said the website is not ready so we have to do the, the checkout manually so you're here then I have this already filled out all the necessary information and we will pay cash at delivery it's probably gonna run to a 404 page because I didn't finish setting up the, the website but it doesn't matter we can already see that the order was submitted hopefully here so we go into orders and we see the order here which I just did so when everything went right upon sending this order our webhook should be also connected to the spy dream and you can see the post here in fact we see two so the first one was when we created the, the webhook then uh, WooCommerce sent a little info that hey is there anyone there and since there was someone answering um, it was a real webhook so it did work and uh, the webhook was created this is the second one so this is the checkout here and all this info is about our order it's pretty a lot of info uh, it's showing where it was sent from you know there's an order key cash on delivery so there's a bunch of things but what we're really interested in is here this body raw which is the raw information and this pile of info here can be turned into useful uh, content for for us useful information for us and with a little reformatting we can push this into modic so how we do that first of all we need to reformat this a little bit and we're gonna do a JSON validation just to see if this is a valid JSON file now JSON is a is a is a specific format so I paste everything here and validate JSON and you see you have this beautiful amazing look here so it's it's really easy to understand so you have billing first name last name you know everything what you need really cool so from all this info what is needed uh, for us we would like to at this point of course we can use this for many other things but at this point what we need is I want to save the email because this is needed for the modic uh, you want to connect the person based on email with, with the previous uh, uh, pre with your previous subscribers you need the last name first name we can just overwrite it and if you want you can even save the products but right now what we want to do we just want to create a new user that it saves so every time there's an order we, we are creating this user we can even you know fill with the product if you want because we understand that there are line items and this should be this can be more not just one we can go through this uh, in our script and we can even save that this person purchased the happy bath, uh, bear bath bomb but maybe we don't want to save this info at this point because in order to understand all the different products what people purchasing we would be need to have already figured out strategy how to use this information so right now we're just gonna save email first name and last name and if you uh I, I i ask you please to download my script where we process this information and we can go through it together and see how it actually works okay so once we have this uh information captured let's see uh let's see the script what you just downloaded and go through it together and we're gonna try to uh, understand what the code actually does so this is the code maybe yours looks a little bit different because I'm changing it from time to time um, let's see so first of all you will grab the data um, this whole thing what comes in here you're gonna grab with this command all it does it just tries to capture it into um, this variable then we make sure that this is decoded from JSON format which means we we change these parts in the code we change these these this structure in a more understandable form let's put it this way and when you look at this actually what happens here is you have these columns and then inside of this you have even more so if you want to refer to this information here you have to refer to this and this it's a little bit like you know um, you have a country and then in the country you have a city to to be more specific uh, regarding the, the the location of something uh, so if you if you uh, want to 
get deeper in the in the in the in the JSON, you just have to refer that I'm looking for the first name in the billing, or I'm looking in the first name in the shipping, and that's done like this. So you want to go the, the you want to do the first name. You have to do billing first name. Um, you can learn more information if you look for uh, let's say PHP JSON uh, and stuff like that in Stack Overflow. There's a bunch of info you can use. So this is really like a beginner's stuff here and there's a lot more to it but if you want to have a simple webhook this is where you start so i'm just explaining why is it like this and if you create your own webhook since you know now how to capture it with with pipe Gym or request, request bin you understand now how to uh, reach into the deeper into the information so and now comes the modic part and the modic part is actually super simple uh more simple than you would think um, all we need to do is we we using basic auth authentication, which is um, it's okay to use uh, later. I'm gonna teach you how to do a more complicated authentication, but right now you can really start with that and start replacing Zapier. Um, so we capture this data, then we have the login and password and site URL. This you fill out. So you, you login in would be the user's login in what you creating modic uh, just one moment i'm going to show you where so i'm heading to modic so just created a user called api just give some kind of password and i also have an email just to have an email but it can be also your basic user as well which is the administrator okay so um, the other information what you need is this here so this is my modic here and uh, you can use your own URL here well you should use your own URL here and the whole thing will look like HTTPS then your login name in my case that's API then the password whatever one two three don't write it's not the password and then the site URL without HTTP because here we already have it so that's your that's your API login and you should have this API uh, folder on your modic install otherwise you can't use api like but that comes with the basic install so it should be okay so then you will reach into api contacts new you can give whatever name you want you can call it star butterfly as well doesn't matter i used to i just used to modic connector that's my uh, choice of wording and then you post the payload so whatever we captured here email first name and last name we're gonna push in into our modic and here is the thing i also added something here tag so what is the tag um and i should maybe also uh save it here so in your version you will already have it so the tag is something like uh woocommerce or let's call it woo purchase if there's no tag like this before then it will create it I will just call it Wu, just because I like short tags. I use a bunch of tags, so it's gonna be Wu. And then I know that this person has ordered something from from WooCommerce. I will call it Wu. Okay, and um, that tag will be also posted in this person's profile. So that's actually pretty cool. And you know that this person is coming from WooCommerce. They just ordered, so you can start your automation by filtering out that segment. And we are also doing some uh, logging here that's just really for the purpose of uh seeing what's going wrong now if you're not getting further like uh you can do one more thing uh, if you have bugs or something is not working you can take this this is like uh this is the logging itself so i'm just gonna copy it so we're gonna log one more thing this response here you can actually uh log so you can say that you just wanna log this response so to see what modic is telling you what's the problem and you just post it here so if this if you add this line then whatever modic says after you're trying to uh, post something via the api you will get an information back and it will be saved in your webhook log text file uh, this can be something like authorization is required or 404 or something so you can start debugging your your process but we're not gonna um do this now although i'm going to save this and say uh use this log to uh this to understand or to uh save modic response 
Jag menar att vi ser uh, on comments this line. Okej. Okay. So this will be more safe. Okay, so let's uh, see our... I'm gonna fill these out and then let's see our uh, webhook in action. In fact, first I'm gonna show you where to save it and how to access it. Okay, so this is the, the cPanel, the file manager for my uh, WooCommerce installation and this is where we're gonna place the, the connector file. Why? Um, so you could place it also in Modic, but I found it a lot more, I found it easier to keep it at a place where, where I store the other um, shop related stuff. So I'm just going to place it here. I'm going to create a new folder called connector. And I will save it right here. Oops, that's not a folder. I'm going to do a new file. Connector PHP. It's an empty file, so all I'm going to do is just to uh, copy this in and let's hope it works. So edit and copy it in and save changes. So this is our uh, connector.php, so if I refresh, reload, it should be one kilobyte. Great. So let's go back to our uh, webhooks and uh, settings and we're going to refer to this page from there. So advanced and webhooks. And we're going to call it bathrituals.com slash connector slash connector PHP. I could call these connectors as well if I'm going to have more. Or this connector PHP could be also uh, order connector or order webhook, whatever. Maybe later we, we can uh, reorganize that if we have more of them. So let's save it first. Uh, you can have the secret key as well and I actually urge you to save this and create a small um, create a small uh, verification for this connector just not that you know anyone can post something there um, and this would be working like password we're gonna do it as a next step in a later video in the next video or something okay so we have this webhook so let's check if it works uh, we're gonna go back here and put a new product in our um, in our cart. Oh, it's, I don't know, like this one. Okay, so add to cart. I guess it's added to the cart. I'm gonna right away move to the checkout and purchase this peaceful lavender bath bomb. Okay, this is already pre-filled and I'm going to click on place order. Of course, we have the 404, it doesn't matter, this shop is not properly set up, so we should have to see this already by the orders. Okay, it's there. And now let's go back to our modic and see if the person was created. And so I open this here and it did go through. So when you look at it, you see? perfectly going through. WooCommerce is here. So we updated this uh, uh, profile and added this tag. So if it, I wouldn't have created this before, then it would be newly created, but now we just updated this. So this is how you uh, do it. And let's see what our file says here. So I'm gonna refresh it, okay. And we also save the information, hopefully. Yes, so we have my email here and the, my name and the tag we also saved. Wow, that was actually pretty simple. Um, I hope you enjoyed this part. 
If you have comments or questions about anything you've seen, drop me a line in the comments or in the Mautic forums. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. In the next installment, we connect Mautic with thousands of other apps just by using one simple script. I'm really excited about that. Until then, keep automating. Bye.